global Windows outage due to CrowStrike update. Let me explain you what happening and how to recover your laptop, even if you cannot use safe mode on your Windows. And also if you have BitLocker. So what's happening? Many companies using their laptops protection software from a company called CrowdStrike. On Windows, the agent for this CrowdStrike called CrowdStrike Falcon Sensor or CrowdStrike Agent. Something like this you will see in installed application on your Windows. So on 18th of July 2024, around 11 p.m. Pacific time, the CrowdStrike released some update for, the, for their agent and this agent is in conflict with Windows. So Windows just start booting and you always getting blue screen of death with the following error. Page fault in non-paged area, csagent.sys, CrowdStrike agent.sys. That's it, you cannot do nothing basically. And it's happening everywhere, like really, like millions of computers company were using this cross strike widely and like everywhere you can see it, every, everywhere, everywhere. It's like really global, global outage. Even for example, here in Las Vegas, you see <laughs> Las Vegas fear as well, they're using this. So in airport and hospitals everywhere, my laptop as well affected because I installed this uh, sensor on my laptop. CrowdStrike urgently published statement how to fix it. So basically for the Windows users, kind of easy, but it didn't work uh, straightforward for me. So basically you need to boot into the safe mode, go to Windows System32 drivers CrowdStrike directory, find files matching this prefix and just delete them. That's it. Basically it should be easy. I have Windows 11 Pro and I cannot boot into safe mode. I even cannot get to the safe mode. When I'm trying to boot into safe mode with common prompt, like really without Windows, it just failing again with dead screen. Now I will try a safe mode with common prompt, basically just the simplest one, I think. Six. Okay. No, that's the same. Yeah, that's it. I cannot boot. Uh... So I cannot do nothing. So only solution which I find is remove physical disk from your laptop where your Windows is installed. Use some sort of USB adapter for your disk. I have something like this. So basically I have M2 disk. I just put it inside this adapter. Connect this USB adapter with your disk to another laptop. I hope you have it. Try access system disk on the USB uh, adapter. My disks are encrypted and bit locked. I, on my physical disk, I had two logical disks, disk C and disk D. So when I tried to access the disk, it showed me that I need to enter recovery key for my disk D, but not for the disk C. Disk C even not recognized. So I needed to go to the disk manager and add letter, like I added letter X, for example, for my system disk and then trying to access it again so it will show up pop-up window to enter recovery key for this disk the BitLocker recovery key once you able to get the access to the files on your disk C where the Windows is installed just go to the directory Windows System32 drivers CrowdStrike find all files matching C this prefix you see which I just place it you know in the search window all the files I, so I find only one file Delete it. Now you're basically done. You can put your disk back to your laptop. Boot normally. And also don't forget to ask your administrator to stop using this crowd strike. And you're done. I hope it was helpful. Good luck. See you on the next one.